Okay, I'm gonna go in and show you guys uh, what I've been feeding the puppies and what I've been doing. Um, that way, it's real easy for you guys to kind of just keep on doing or um, entice them if they're having a day that they're just not as interested in food. Um, either way, for the litter, I usually start out with one cup. Now, I take two recipes. I take a grain-free recipe, and then I also take a grain recipe, and then I mix the two together. So my food is a 50-50. Uh, number one, this ensures that both recipes are handled well by the puppies, so whichever way that you wanted to go, um, there's a recipe that their tummy is already uh, used to. Um, I do the real chicken and oatmeal recipe. I found that puppies like this, it's really, really easy on their stomach. Um, and then the other recipe that I do is the uh, chicken and sweet potato. Uh, the sweet potato is one that the dogs absolutely love and I, I find that um, the dogs don't eat quite as much because it's, it's a little nutrient dense. Um, but anyways, I always take the dry food and I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this except for the water, okay? Just because I have about another hour and a half before it's actually meal time. But I take a cup of the 50-50. I put it in there. And what I would normally do is just fill it so that water is just uh, up on the edges on the side, almost getting ready to cover them. Um, and then I sit and let that soak for about 10 minutes. Now your dog is going to be good and ready and used to hard, solid food by the time I come home with you. We do a 50-50 and kind of mix back and forth so they get used to the more wet, soft, and then also the uh, hard. Um, but uh, so you can do it either way. I, we kind of put the water in there to uh, make sure that the puppies are getting enough hydration as well, um, which is kind of good when they're younger because they get excited about playing and don't always stop and do the things that they should. But um, after I take that, uh, I come in with the wild um, Alaskan salmon oil and pollock oil, give that a little squirt. And then I come in with Gastropro Plus. That is like number one supplement if you were not going to do anything else and only one thing, this is what I would suggest that you do. Um, salmon pollock oil second. I mean, these are all very complimentary for your dog system. But this is just a gel capsule and it literally will just kind of pop apart like that. Okay. See, and then I'm just gonna take it and sprinkle it over. You don't have to use the whole thing. You just kind of pop the pack back on and good to go for the next time. All right, so this has probiotics, prebiotics, enzymes. It's got the uh, salmon and pollock oil that's just really good for their skin and fur. I mean, if your dog's having issues with skin and fur, probiotics and the salmon oil will do wonders, wonders, wonders. Um, um, and then I do a little mix up. I'm sorry, your dogs are spoiled here. Um, I always kind of put in one of their paw pairings to give a little bit of flavor. And one of the things that I like about these is that they are freeze dried raw. So uh, they are um, getting benefits of raw without some of the uh, potential scare things that could happen. Uh, raw is great, but you have to really know what you're doing. And if you don't, you could create more problems than um, doing good for your dog. So this kind of brings in the benefits of a raw diet with not having um, some of those risk factors. Uh, but they come in all sorts of different flavors and it makes it so that your dog has a little bit of a different taste each meal. Um, and then there is also the bone broth. And the reason I like this is because it's got pumpkin in it, so it helps soothe stomachs. Um, so I usually sprinkle a little bit of that in with the water to make it more of like a broth uh, than just water with the, um, with the kibble. Uh, and I 
sometimes still used to always, but the bone broth's got the pumpkin in it, so I don't do it quite as often. But I do sometimes put a little scoop of uh, organic pumpkin in, and the reason that I like doing that is just because it makes the water more of like a, a gravy consistency. And I'm a foodie, so uh, I like my dogs to have good food. Um, Okay, so anyways, that's what your puppy's been doing, um, and that is, these are extras, you know, they're not what, they, they're not necessary. I would suggest that you do the um, food, the Gastropro Plus, and the Salmon and Pollock Oil, those are just really good. Now, when um, our dogs reach six months old, I add a couple more things. Um, I just figured I'd, I'd let you guys know this, um, but I, I do a whole system, so they actually have a bone and joint support, um, and then also CBD Mega, which is just uh, CBD, and it's uh, 15 milligram tablets, so you can either give them one or two, depending on size. Our size dogs are usually just one, um, and I used to use it just as needed, but have moved that as a daily thing too after kind of searching um, the endocannabinoid system with the dogs and everything like that and all the things that it benefits. Uh, so we do that daily as well. Um, and I do have my dogs on the daily NuVet Plus vitamin. Um, I do the powder daily and um, add the wafer for puppies. But I hope that helps you guys and answers some questions on uh, what we use, how we use it, and why.